Good afternoon, Your Excellencies, Heads of Development Organizations, Captains of Industry, our founder, Mr. Tony O. Elimelu, C.O.N., TEF Entrepreneurs, Gentlemen of the Press, and Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen. Indeed, it is a privilege to address you all today, to be in a space where we center and celebrate African entrepreneurs. I would like to formally welcome you to the 2021 Tony Elumelu Foundation Entrepreneurship Program Selection Announcement Event. It is a remarkable day today for so many reasons, but I will try to convey some of these reasons in a short time, in, well, in the short time that has been assigned to me. Today, we will be unveiling nearly 5,000 entrepreneurs from across the continent who would receive seed capital funding that would enable them to operationalize and grow their businesses. Today, we are celebrating dynamism, resilience, and ambition. The many possibilities the African entrepreneurs hold to transform our continent. Today, we are spotlighting the ecosystem working to meet the immediate needs of African entrepreneurs. Whether that is access to space, access to training and resources, access to funding, access to dignity and agency, all working together to make sure that the challenge of inaccessibility is solved. You see, there are many reasons why we are gathered here today, but I will try to keep it short and straight to the point. African entrepreneurship landscape is on the horizon when the pandemic hit last year, so many small and medium-sized businesses were deeply affected. So many dreams were dashed. So many plans were halted. Without much contingency structures in their business operations and the volatile state of economies, African entrepreneurs were most vulnerable. So, our program last year did not follow the default cycle, but was a direct response to the socio-economic crisis faced by thousands of entrepreneurs. Last year, we made available master classes that was targeted at business management training during time of crisis. But more importantly, we held mental health seminars to help entrepreneurs navigate through the difficult times. We knew, however, that as a leading philanthropy, there was much work to be done beyond that. And so this year, the entrepreneurship program has been a source of encouragement and hope to hundreds of thousands of entrepreneurs across Africa. This year, we did things a little differently. We leveraged heavily on technology. For the first time, we made our training modules and other resources available to hundreds of thousands of entrepreneurs, providing them ready-made solutions to, to them at the comfort of their homes or phones. Our modules this, this year was designed to accommodate entrepreneurs with different learning abilities, ensuring that no one is left out of our intervention. So I want to acknowledge the TEF 2021 cohort I know what it takes to take a business from an idea stage to actually making it a reality. It takes hard work, it takes resilience, it takes courage to put yourselves out there and step into leadership. I applaud your stance and your doggedness. Through the course of this year's program, there has been intersections of alumni, mentors and coaches all of whom were so generously devoted to empowering the 2021 cohort with much needed, need, with much needed support sorry, and resources. I salute you all for your time and expertise, your own personal stories, and even sometimes your space for the growth and sustenance of the African entrepreneurs. You also clearly encapsulate why collaboration is a means to a solution. You are all a reminder that our lives are illustrations of intersectionality, 
and there is a wealth of knowledge to be shared with one another and to use it for the common good of all. I would like to thank our partners, without whom we would not have been able to achieve this feat on such scale. Because of you, thousands of entrepreneurs have hope. So I would like to encourage everyone here to support and commit to supporting entrepreneurs. There are small ways and big ways of achieving this, from as little as liking or commenting on their social media pages, to purchasing their products, or as big as investing in their, in their businesses or providing extra, extra funding for their businesses. And so, I say, we must always carry the consciousness of supporting African entrepreneurs and creating access for them in service, in connection, and in community. This act has a true power to transform our, uh, sorry, to transform our communities, our continents, and our lives. And finally, we have produced a short behind-the-scenes video that encapsulates the 2021 Tony Elumelu Foundation operations. Please, I hope you enjoy viewing videos, please. Thank you. The Foundation Entrepreneurship Program took a different format from the format used in the previous years. This time, we leveraged heavily on technology, where at least 80% of our program was automated. The 2021 Entrepreneurship Program was all configured and administered on our digital platform, TEF Connect. We built in business logic and algorithm to help in the shortlisting exercise. The program has five major stages, with each phase assessing the entrepreneurship mindset, business knowledge, and resilience. The stages are one, application, with psychometric and cognitive assessment. Two, training. This is the 12-week business management training and coaching phase. Our coaches are mainly sourced from our alumni base. The training has two major parts, six weeks of core online self-paced business management training and six weeks of webinar style training sessions on business plan and financial planning, the TOE way, which expounds on character building and the core business values of our founder, Mr. Elimelu. And then the training on the craft of delivering a compelling elevator pitch to potential investors. Three. Entrepreneurs are also required to submit a business summary plan. Shortlisted entrepreneurs from the pitching phase went on to submit a two to four minute business pitch video, which are assessed and scored by our carefully sourced and assessed judges. The pitching phase is the final phase of the entrepreneurship program. The final selected entrepreneurs will receive the $5,000 seed capital. To ensure the integrity of our entrepreneurship program, and ensure the right people are selected, we engage the services of third-party experts to test our processes, systems, and people. On the system side, we conduct load, stress, performance, vulnerability, and penetration tests. On process, we test to ensure our processes are seamless and void of errors with effective controls in place. On the people side, we leverage the robust infrastructure and systems of our bank of choice United Bank for Africa to conduct a wall check on our selected entrepreneurs. Further investigation is done for any flagged entrepreneur. Where a total match is found, the entrepreneur is replaced. With this, we have been able to deliver an impactful entrepreneurship program and watch this space. We have only just begun. think we can do better than that. For a second, I forgot to see. I was there smiling and clapping away happily. So that's uh, Titi Akinola, Director of Operations for the Tony Elumelu Foundation. Another round of applause, please, for Titi. As I sat there, no, communication is fantastic, technology. Someone sent me my picture already to say, wow. So guess what? We've got millions of eyes viewing what's going on today. Who knows how many languages this has been broadcasting? Don't ask me how they're doing it, but 
today, it's not just the English speakers that are participating. This program is being transmitted in French, Portuguese, and Arabic. Please, can we recognize the organizers? I don't know how they are doing it, but they are doing it. And it tells a lot about the program. It's a program founded in Africa for African entrepreneurs that were the world as its marketplace. So let's appreciate all the entrepreneurs as well as the operators of this phenomenal program. And speaking of the operators, it's that time, that moment where we're going to unveil the nearly 5,000. Should we just call it the 5,000? I think it's kind of easier. Let's just call it the 5,000. And who else to do that but the co-founder of the Tony Lumelu Foundation, our dear, beautiful, gorgeous, extremely intellectual, always well put together, Dr. Awele Vivian Elumelu. A round of applause, please. <laughs> Dr. Awele Elumelu is also the chairperson of Avon Healthcare <laughs> and the CEO of Avon Medical, one of the very best medical facilities in Nigeria. Thank you. Thank you very much. If I wasn't the one, I'd probably be looking around thinking, who, who, who is she talking about? <laughs> so hello and good afternoon, everyone. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and our partners and entrepreneurs, both those of us here in person and those joining us online. I'm extremely pleased to be with you today to unveil the 2021 beneficiaries of the Tony Elumelu Foundation Entrepreneurship Program. So from 2011-2011, with the selection of the first cohort, we ensured that our process was intentional, it was rigorous and unassailable, and that those that we selected embodied the ideals that we envisioned when we began the Entrepreneurship Program. In 2020, we, know, we all know what happened, the pandemic hit. And we, along with the rest of the world, battled this collective threat. Well, it has indeed been a couple of eventful years, and that the fact that we're able to gather again here is something we should not take for granted. But before we unveil um, this year's list, let me start by commending all the 2021 applicants who applied went through the rigorous 12-week training program and participated in the pitching competition. Your commitment and your dedication to enterprise truly inspire us. You've continued to display the highest values of an African entrepreneur, diligence, hard work, innovation, resilience. I'd also like to take a few moments to thank especially our partners and the CEO of the TEF Foundation, as well as all the workers of the Foundation. Well, we are indeed in unprecedented times. And I'm proud to announce that we are unveiling today the largest cohort, as has been said by Titi, the largest cohort of African entrepreneurs till date. When we first began, the aim was to empower 10,000 Africans in a 10-year period at a rate of 1,000 entrepreneurs a year. But I'm pleased to announce, again as Titi has said, <laughs> that in our 2021 cohort, we have, as Owen has said, 5,000 entrepreneurs, but the exact figure is 4,949 entrepreneurs. Amazing African entrepreneurs. I'm also happy to note that this year's class has the highest number of female beneficiaries, with the men constituting 68%. And this 68% is just a bit over 3,000 of all that were selected. And by now, I'm sure we all know that when you empower an African woman, you empower a whole community and create a brighter future for all. This class represents as have the previous years, 
a diverse range of interests from agriculture and healthcare to education and fashion, all working towards the common goal of doing well and doing good. These men and women are disruptors, they are innovators, and they are the future leaders of industry. I am confident that these men and women will be excellent ambassadors for the foundation and for the entrepreneurship program. I, for one, am extremely proud and I'm excited to see and read about their future successes. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Tony Elumelu Foundation Entrepreneurship Program Class of 2021. It's no main feat to get on this list. Lots of work. It's super exciting looking at what's going on here. Wow. Pages and pages and pages and pages and pages. This is super, super exciting. Wow. <laughs> All African countries represented. Wow. <laughs> wow. That went in a blow, right? It did. But maybe I should highlight a few key figures. I'm, not, I'm really just going to read out from here, so in case anybody thought I had it all memorized. 406,257 applicants. Shortlisted to 206,550. Who went through the training process that Titi mentioned? We saw the behind the scenes. Now, because I know the foundation, full disclosure, I, w I worked with the foundation once upon a time. I can assure that those were hours and hours and hours of work, utter commitment, utter dedication towards coming up with the 5,000. I think there are some stats showing there. Highly impressive. I really want to emphasize what Dr. Elumelu said. Did you hear the ratio, the women? Please, can I, 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 I didn't hear properly. Can someone help me? What was the percentage? 68. And since we like to round up numbers, that's what? Can we give ourselves a round of applause? Then let me let you in on something. I literally, I have goosebumps. What makes this super exciting is it's taken, it's been a journey. The first cohort, I think we had just about 20%. We had about 20%. Some people advised them, have a quota for women and fill the quota. Said no. We are about merit. And we encourage more people across, even the different countries. You must have heard when the chairman mentioned Mali, right? Looking at North America, the different countries, the, it, Sorry, North Africa, I apologize. Pardon me, North Africa, the representation is growing and growing and growing. Indeed, Tony Elumelu Foundation is Africa's foremost foundation. It belongs to the whole of Africa. <laughs> Seeing those numbers, just looking at the geographical spread, and then having nearly 70% as women, is highly commendable. And it's showing that women are stepping up. 
And it's also showing, because we must never forget it, that men are also creating an enabling environment. We are seen as partners. And there's that enabling environment that allows us to thrive. So let us appreciate the men as well. <laughs> so on that note, is there a better note than to pause to introduce, or should I say welcome? Because I really don't think he needs any introduction. But I will, even if it's just to make him blush. It's my pleasure, and I ask you to also join in welcoming... I won't welcome him yet. Let it, you, should, you should take it. July 31st, 2010. Mr. Elumelu, with Dr. Elumelu by his side, and there are five, then five gorgeous children, a co-hotel. He said, I want to democratize luck. I want to create hope for people. I want people to be able to reach out on their own and go on to make something of themselves of their dreams. He went on further to commit his personal wealth. Look, it's not easy to give away money, right? A hundred million dollars of his personal fund, his family fund. That's why I call Dr. Elumelu co-founder, because it's also, a, they are in there, it's part of it. So for me, all the Elumelu, they are all the founders. He did that, and the journey began. Today, we've unveiled nearly 5,000. When the journey for the entrepreneurship program began, it was meant to be a $10 million of his personal fund, his family fund. That's why I call Dr. Elumelu co-founder, because it's also, a, they are in there, it's part of it. So for me, all the Elumelu, they are all the founders. He did that, and the journey began. Today, We've unveiled nearly 5,000. When the journey for the entrepreneurship program began, it was meant to be a 10-year journey, 1,000 every year. By the end of last year, was it the previous year, going by the statistics, just over, just over 10,000. Can we first appreciate that? <laughs> but trusting again that concept of when you've put your mind to do something, the universe will conspire to make it happen. Today, we've added 5,000 making 15,000, and we still have a number of years ahead of us. So on that note, may I kindly ask you to join me to welcome Mr. Tony Oyemichi in the middle, C-O-N, thank you. Oh, and uh, I think your next job is uh, MC <laughs> MCC, <laughs> marketing and communication role. <laughs> But uh, again, um, we ride on the established protocol. I see all great dignitaries here. You don't even know who to recognize and, or not recognize. So let me just say welcome to this wonderful event. Today is not about us, it's about the young African entrepreneurs. And I'm happy I see our partners here for collaborating with us, partnering with us, working with us to make this happen. So thanks to, to you all. I, let me, yeah, let me, my job is simple. I think we'll have some young uh, African uh, beneficiaries of the past uh, Tony and Melu Foundation uh, intervention. I'd like to invite you to join me and let's interact briefly. Come up, please. So you're welcome, sit down, please. And so, I'm the MC. <laughs> I'm playing Owen's role now. Let me know you. Just introduce yourself, watch, and I'll ask you a few questions. Let me know you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. 
Good afternoon, everyone, and good afternoon, Mr. Elumelu. My name is Lungile Divine Marungani. I am from South Africa. What's your name? Lungile Divine. Divine? Yes. Okay. <laughs> And I'm from South Africa. I was born and raised in a small town called Guiani, Limpopo province in South Africa. Yes, thank you. So I'm going to ask you, so tell us what, uh, what were you doing before, which uh, cohort of the foundation are you in? Uh, what were you doing before, before you got selected by the Tony Melu Foundation? And then uh, what support did you get from them? And then uh, how, what are you doing today? And how has that impacted on your entrepreneurship journey? Thank you so much. So I, I applied for, for the Tony Elumeli Foundation program this year. I became part of it this year. And I went through training with the mentors and everybody who was giving us support. You're part of yeah. this current one. Yeah. Yes. Yes, so I got support from the team, amazing support, incredible support, and they actually taught us a lot developing your business plan because it's one thing to have a concept in mind, but it's also another thing to implement what you have in mind. So my business is water purification. I grew up in a town where water as basic of a need as it is was not easily accessible, and when it's accessible, it would not be clean. And we all know that water is clean until proven otherwise. So I used macadamia nut shells to purify water instead of chemicals. So it's green technology. Well done, well done, well done. I actually thought these were the existing Two alumni. So tell us, uh, by say your name, country, and also, are you part of the new one or the previous one, and what you do? The same question I asked. Actually. Thank you very much. Um, it's an honor for me to be to be here. My name is Leroy Mosaru. I'm from Kenya. Kenya. Yes. Then this, this must be ICT. I'm sure this must be ICT. <laughs> um, yeah. So. I, I am a 2016 um, Elumelu entrepreneur, and yeah. and uh, when I was selected, I think I was probably one of the youngest. I was 18 at that time. You were 18 years. <laughs> and and um, what I was doing then was in waste management. Waste so, management. Yes. So what I do today is renewable energy, and more specifically, biogas energy. And um, I think today in the panel, I'm, I'm one of the youngest. <laughs> <laughs> You're one of the oldest on the program, but one of the youngest in age. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So how's your business today? Um, today, we've um, expanded to more schools than, than, than we had in 2016. And also, we've expanded how we do our research and development and bearing in mind that what a big part of what we do is research and development the for the support that we got from 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 the foundation has been very has been very uh, it's like a a father and you know his young son mm -hmm. and so being the foundation that first believed in us really really meant a lot wonderful do you employ people now yes we do how many staff so we have around 30 on our payroll. 30. Well done. Well done, well done, well done, well done. Congratulations, eh? So you came all the way from Kenya. Oh, OK, is she just walking? Can you hear me? Oh, yeah. OK, uh, my name is Howard Liman, and um, I'm always proud to see where the inaugural cohort of this program. <laughs> The experiment was done with us. Yes. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yes, and I'm always proud to say that yes. So uh, my name is Hawel Iman, and I'm in the fashion space. I'm the founder of Africa Buyer, which is an Afrocentric, modest fashion brand. We're located in Kaduna, that's northwestern Nigeria. So I benefited from this program in 2015, and um, it opened up lots of doors, lots of opportunity, and. As I would like to say, it's not just about the grant. What really fascinates me about the program is um, the knowledge, because I call it a mini MBA program. 
because from the ideation stage, it teaches you how to really articulate your business. It gave me my first business plan. It was from the program that I got my first business plan with which I used to access other opportunities. Not only that, the network, the visibility, because I remember it gave me the opportunity to feature in the Economist news, um, paper. I was just at home, I got a call, and I was interviewed to tell my story about entrepreneurs in northern Nigeria, how they're coping the challenges and everything. So the program is really, I would say my entrepreneurial journey cannot be complete without the program. And um, I would like to add that it's a continuous journey. Once you belong to the platform, it opens up lots of opportunities because um, we'll be commencing selling internationally next year, courtesy of the program and the Export Promotion Council. We're Any foreign exchange for yes. the country. We will start selling on Amazon, God willing, next year, courtesy of partnership from the program and the Export Promotion Council. So this is our journey so far. Well done, well done. Do you have people, you've employed people? Yes, currently I have um, 10 permanent, then we have another eight that are depending on the role they play well on done. commission basis. Congratulations. Thank uh, you very much. We are proud of you. Hello, I'm Judith Bagidi and I come from Benin. My English is not so good, so... <laughs> Thank you. So I'm come from Benin, and uh, I'm... Uh, Benin Republic, yeah? Yes, okay. interesting. And uh, I participate this year. This current one, yeah, eh? This current one. Okay. And uh, I'm nutritionist. So is your name there? I think I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> and you? <laughs> you got a congratulatory message? <laughs> and I'm nutritionist, and um, I am. Um, uh, so, can I speak French? Yes! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Uh, donc, je suis Judith Baguidi du Bénin et je suis nutritionniste et biotechnologue de formation. Voilà. Donc, à la base, mon entreprise s'appelle Kenaya. On proposait des repas sains gastronomiques, mais en ce moment, on est en train de développer un projet qui va permettre l'autonomie alimentaire. Du coup, ça va consister à installer chez les gens des potagers pour qu'ils puissent eux-mêmes produire ce qu'ils mangent. Et après, on leur apprend à cuisiner seulement ce qu'ils produisent. Parce que pendant environ 10 ou 15 ans, en fait, j'ai souffert d'hypertension artérielle parce que je me nourrissais mal. Et les médecins n'arrivaient pas à m'expliquer concrètement pourquoi je souffrais de cela. Du coup, j ai, j ai, j ai, je suis retournée à l'école. J'ai réappris à produire de la matière première saine et j'ai appris à cuisiner sainement pour pouvoir aider des autres aussi dans le domaine. <laughs> merci. <laughs> oui, merci. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> so let me ask you guys one last question since uh, they are timing me already. What message do you have for young Afghan entrepreneurs? What message do you, do you have or to our gov young Afghan entrepreneurs are leaders? So any message you have? We'll start. Okay, um, the message I'll have for them is um, they should try as much as possible and start with having a structure because uh, many of them fail to leverage opportunities because they don't have the structure when the opportunity comes knocking and many of them keep waiting till when they are ready. So um, over the years, from my own experience, I would advise them to start with what they have. They should start where they are and then they will grow as they move. Well done. You can speak to too. Thank you. <laughs> so, Ms. Moi, Bola here. <laughs> so, Ms. Aprit, go on, please. Moi, je conseillerais aux gens de ne jamais laisser tomber parce que j'ai appris avec Tony et Loumelou à être persévérante, à tenir ferme pendant la formation et à ne jamais laisser tomber. Il faut bien commencer quelque part et ne pas négliger les faibles commencements. Well done. <laughs> We will check the interpretation, Google interpretation. <laughs> okay, so mine will come in two, two bits. Um, my first one will be start regardless. Um, so this is a theme of just starting with the little available resources, even when there's no one watching. And, you know, 
just as we 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 all know that you know if you start something the universe will conspire to make that mission uh, um, possible for you and 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 and, and expand it and then the other thing is to focus right because as a young person there's so many things in the space and it's just very important for you to focus on knowing what's what's right what's most important and so it's the number of right decisions that you make fantastic and you okay my message to all young african entrepreneurs is read study research interact network and always remember whatever you can perceive you will receive thank you <laughs> this lady eh? <laughs> Okay, so me too. Let me give my own message to young African entrepreneurs and to our leaders. To young African entrepreneurs, you know, simple, let's work hard, let's uh, dream dreams, and uh, you should be very, very disciplined. You must remember that the road to success, you know, is uh, driven by discipline. That is the fuel you need to stay on that call. You must continue to think of impact, you know, and when you in the journey, entrepreneurship journey is not linear. You have ups and downs, but stay focused, stay resilient, work very hard, stay disciplined, and ultimately success will come your way. All of us you see today, it was never easy, and we didn't start uh, in an extraordinary way. We made mistakes, we started small, and we're where we are today. To us, and to me, and others, we believe that the future of our continent is in your hands, and uh, what you do as entrepreneurs uh, will go a long way in lifting Africa out of poverty. I'm happy that our females are doing very well, 68%, roughly 70 female participation this uh, selection this year uh, is wonderful. Thanks to the team at Tony El Melo Foundation, our partners who made all of this possible. And finally, to our leaders, we see, we've seen it all. Young, intelligent, energetic, hardworking Africans, ready to go. But we slow them down, we hold them back. We need to keep creating the right environment that will make our young want to succeed. They want to succeed. And all they need from us as a leader is to create the right environment that will enable entrepreneurship flourish in Africa. We must realize that their success is a success for all of us on the continent. We must prioritize them because nations and continents that prioritize their people go far in life. We want to succeed, and this is our moment. And to my fellow business leaders, let's continue to work together, let's team up. Let's realize that uh, in the 21st century and beyond, it's uh, about empires, about legacies, about how we come together, to work together, to power people out of poverty, how we put ladder for people to climb the way we also had the opportunity to climb up. If we don't do that, we have not succeeded. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a good opportunity and a good feeling to see 5,000 young Africans also commence their own journey to billionaire. <laughs> Thank you. OK, thanks so much. Let's take a, I would like to take a picture of the four or five of you. Let's, uh, our designer, eh? <laughs> what uh, these are designer, but she. <laughs> All right, uh, you okay? Okay. Bonjour. <laughs> you got it? Sound. Can we give them a round of applause? Our 18 year old, or previously 18 years old now, so since he was 2018, that means 21 now. I'm just waiting for everybody to. 
So our entrepreneur is now 21. Please, can you confirm? I just want to make sure that we can have a legal drink later today. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Elumelu, for that session. And of course, to our entrepreneurs. What Hawa forgot to tell us is that we have a grandchild alumni, alumnus with us. She came with her baby, her four month old baby, and her mom. Oh. They, yes. And they are here together today. <laughs> so we'll meet our princess later on when we go out for the, for the cocktail later. So, it's exciting, still very exciting. We've said so much about our partners. We've had them, we've, it's been mentioned, maybe if not too many times, like a hundred times. I kid you. It's now my pleasure to introduce and a lovely young lady. I remember recruiting her, doing her interview <laughs> as an, and this is one of the things about being in the Tony Elumelu world. We grow talent from within. I recall her working, walking into my office, confident but shy at the same time. And she's grown into a young lady that we're all proud of. So we welcome now our Director of Partnerships and Communication, Somachi Chris Asoluka, to tell us about our partners. Welcome so much. Thank you so much, Owen. And again, very welcome, warmest welcome to all our guests here today. I'm not going to speak for too long because I think our partners do a good job themselves in their goodwill messages. But I'd just like to give a little context before we play their videos. We were on the flight to Casablanca on Monday, a few of us from the group, and we were talking about legacy, something that our founder always talks about. And we said, you know, legacy is formed by good governance, institutionalization, transparency. And while these seem like lofty ideals, they're actually put in place by tiny blocks of doing the right things at the right time, having the right processes. And in our group, we look around us and we see that all our leaders have a track record of expertise, of experience, of stellar hard work. And so there's nobody that can say, oh, I don't know how this was arrived at because there's transparency throughout our group. And in the same way, our partners have found us to be the partner of choice in Africa because of those very same ideals of transparency, good governance, institutionalization, and thinking for the long term, not just for the now. I would like to very quickly thank our partners from the European Commission who have worked with us to give hope, economic empowerment to over 2,400 young African entrepreneurs who without this support will not have this, this business support. I'd like to also thank our partners, OSDPS, who have joined forces to the, with the EU Commission to make this possible. i also like to thank our partners, BMZ, Google, STEM City, UNDP, even NEPC, who have taken our program to the next level by giving us 400 million naira for our entrepreneurs to grow their businesses to the next level and begin exporting, not only to other African countries, but around the world. I'd like to thank our partners in Rama, our partners at UNDP, our partners around the world, because the work we do will not be possible without your support. Now, a few minutes from our partners. I remember very well um, a few years ago in Brussels um, when I first met uh, Tony Lumelu um, at one of the events that uh, his foundation was, was organizing. Um, and I think um, both of us were struck um, by how much um, his vision on, on how we could support Africa's entrepreneurship and, and, and our, the EU's vision at uh, how we wanted to support African entrepreneurship, how there was a clear um, match uh, between, between the two of us. And ever since we've, we've started working, exploring the possibilities of, of cooperation, um, fully embedded by, by that spirit that, that ultimately um, African growth um, cannot neglect the, the huge potential, the, the creativity, the entrepreneurial spirit, 
um, that, that harbors so many people, especially young people and women in Africa. Uh, and so I'm, I'm extremely glad um, that, that today uh, the Women for Africa um, initiative um, is, um, um, is, is moving into this very active um, stage. I'm very glad that 2,400 uh, women, I think it's actually even a bit more, um, will, will be able to enjoy um, the Foundation's training program, um, will get um, seed capital to, to support uh, their, their ideas, uh, and I'm, I'm extremely happy that uh, as a European Union um, we are able to be part of that uh, great endeavour and um, to, to support it. Uh, I am sure that it will make uh, a difference um, for each of the women entrepreneurs that will benefit from it, um, but more broadly um, for, for communities um, and uh, ultimately for the whole entrepreneurial drive um, that exists across the continent. So really glad to be here and I, I wish you all uh, the greatest possible success. I'm absolutely confident in it. Thank you very much. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Organization of African, Caribbean and Pacific States, I would like to heartily commend the Tony and Lumelo Foundation for this extraordinary achievement. Empowering African entrepreneurs to boost their socio-economic development is crucial to creating a prosperous future for the continent. This mandate is in line with the goals and objectives of the OACPS, which aims to ensure sustainable development and poverty reduction within its member states. We are proud to have partnered with our long-standing partner, the European Union, to unlock the potential of 2,420 African women through this program, providing training, mentorship, and funding to grow and sustain their businesses. Such collaborations have significant long-term impacts towards social economic inclusion and empowering women as well as creating more decent jobs. Congratulations to the 2021 beneficiaries for committing to the program. I trust that the training you have received will be implemented to build lasting and successful businesses. I look forward to celebrating the impact your businesses will have in Africa. I thank you. Warm congratulations to the class of 2021 of the Tony Lumelu Foundation Youth Entrepreneurship Program. In the last couple of weeks, I have visited four countries across Western Central Africa, meeting young creatives, climate champions, and youth from borderlands communities. In my various interactions, the defiance, the determination, and the dogmatic resilience was the single co most common denominator across Africa's young population. Africa's youth represent a rich diversity of raw talent, which can no longer be ignored. Africa is the world's youngest continent, with over 70% of the population below the age of 35. And UNDP's partnership with the Tony Lumelu Foundation on Youth Entrepreneurship is informed by our belief that Africa will only really succeed when young Africans are given the opportunity to excel. This is what has inspired us to invest more than $20 million directly in emerging African entrepreneurs since we entered into this partnership with the foundation. Our ambition is to empower 100,000 entrepreneurs over the next 10 years across Africa. 
this ambition recognizes that entrepreneurship is actually where dreams will be realized and hope recharged for millions of Africa's talented youth who are living in this digital age. Our joint efforts have trained, mentored, and financed thousands of entrepreneurs, including 4,000 recently across the Sahel alone. When we talk about sustainable development in Africa, what we really mean is harnessing the power of women and youth, especially those living in vulnerable and underserved communities, to serve as a cornerstone and accelerator for economic recovery. As an agent of development transformation, the Youth Entrepreneurship Program seeks to harness and empower young people to craft a new narrative, one that showcases Africa's strength and its resolve to move beyond aid and take control of its destiny. To our partners in the public and private sectors, we can, and I think we must, do a lot more. We must continue to invest in the creative and innovative spirit of Africa's youth to fully realize the potential of generating productive employment opportunities for shared prosperity. We look forward to supporting you on this journey, exciting journey, to nurture your entrepreneurial skills while also contributing to sustainable development and helping you to emerge from this pandemic much stronger. Once again, congratulations on this remarkable achievement. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much, Somachi. Another round of applause for Somachi and our wonderful partners. Whilst we're in the room, we got a message. We got a message from our own president, His Excellency, President Muhammadu Buhari, sharing his goodwill and his own perspective of today's historic occasion. So with your permission, I will just read it. State House press release. President Buhari congratulates Tony Elumelu Foundation on selection of 5,000 young Africans for 2021 entrepreneurship program. President Muhammadu Buhari, Lord founder of the Tony Elumelu Foundation, Mr. Tony O. Elumelu, on his remarkable vision in training, mentoring, and funding entrepreneurs from all 54 African countries, describing it as a truly lasting legacy. The president says Nigeria remains very proud of Mr. Elumelu, a global icon whose business and philanthropic interests continue to create opportunities for growth and development not only in Nigeria, but Africa as a whole. I would, specifically, I would like to specifically congratulate the Tony Elumelu Foundation on this extraordinary humanitarian act of funding 4,949 entrepreneurs. I am particularly pleased that this year alone, the Tony Elumelu Foundation will fund 1,000 522 Nigerian entrepreneurs from all the 36 states and the federal capital territory of the Federation. This unifying act by a private sector leader is commendable and worthy of emulation by others, the President says. He notes that entrepreneurship and youth empowerment are important components of the work of this administration, adding, we believe that they are the key to the future and recognize that by empowering our youth, we will build businesses that in turn sustain our economy. To so all 2021 Tony Lumelu Foundation beneficiaries unveiled in Lagos, 
from Friday, November 12, 2021, President Buhari congratulates them on this accomplishment and wishes them all the best in the future. Thank you, Mr. President. We receive it with thanks. <laughs> On that note, I will now invite the CEO of the foundation, Mrs. Ifeyinwa Ugochuku, who will now give us closing remarks. Welcome, Ifeyinwa. Good afternoon once again, ladies and gentlemen. Permit me to stand on all existing protocols. In 2019, when the baton was handed over to me, and I was tasked with running the foundation as chief executive officer, it became apparent quite quickly that business as usual was not in the vocabulary of our founder. <laughs> Before I could settle down into my new, nice executive chair, I was bombarded with questions like, so what are you going to do differently? So how are you going to improve on what, uh, what already exists? So how are you going to bring in new and exciting things? And so, this for me, the founder doesn't realize, murdered sleep. <laughs> because I thought... I'm, I'm not even the exactly, how are you going to increase the beneficiary numbers? So he murdered sleep for me. Because at the end of the day, the foundation was already doing extremely well with widespread impact. How can you improve on this? But as they say, necessity is the mother of invention. So I tasked my team and we brainstormed both internally and externally. And we realized that one thing that is true about continuous improvement, especially in business in the 21st century, is that it boils down to one thing, innovation. And so we decided that we had to practice what we preach. I always tell our entrepreneurs, you must disrupt, otherwise you will be disrupted. And so we decided that we had to disrupt ourselves. And we embarked on a digital transformation journey that we tagged Project Inspire. You've been watching a live Channels Television event.